Now to the latest on the developing news that we've been following for you. President Trump spent his second night in the hospital and he tweeted that he's feeling well as he undergoes treatment for coronavirus. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal is live in the studio with more on what we know this morning. Aya. Caitlin, the White House doctor issued a statement Saturday night saying the president isn't out of the woods just yet, but the medical team is cautiously optimistic as the president remains off oxygen at the hospital. Now, a source familiar with the president's health told reporters that vitals over the last 24 hours were very concerning and the next 48 hours will be critical in terms of his care, adding, quote, we're still not on a clear path to a full recovery. CBS News has also confirmed the president was administered supplemental oxygen at the White House Friday before he was flown to Walter Reed in the evening. Now, it's not clear if the president was having trouble breathing at the time. President Trump tweeted this video message about his health from inside the Walter Reed presidential suite. Take a listen. Uh, I came here, wasn't feeling so well. I feel much better now. We're working hard to get me all the way back. You don't know over the next period of a few days, I guess that's the real test. So we'll what now, it's still unclear when exactly the president began displaying symptoms, and Dr. Conley declined to answer a question about when President Trump last tested negative for the virus. And former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie announced he has COVID-19. He tweeted that he has checked himself into a hospital as a precaution and says he is feeling good with only mild symptoms. He's one of eight people who attended last Saturday's White House ceremony for Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett, who have since tested positive. Aya Galal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.